It's been a year to the day that volunteer Little League umpire Roger Armstrong died from the COVID-19 virus, making him the first death in central Georgia. Marvin James has been following this story and talked with Roger's wife about a plan she has to keep his legacy alive. Thanks, Lori. Now, he was more than just an umpire. He was a husband and a father. I revisited with Roger's wife, Lisa, to talk about how the Little League community will forever remember now the man who gave so much to the game. And I feel like Roger's been with me the whole time and I feel like he has been pushing me forward and, you know, giving me hope and strength. It's hard for Lisa Armstrong to speak of her husband, Roger, in past tense. The couple were married for nearly 25 years, so naturally this past year has been a transition. It's kind of been slow. To me, it seems like yesterday. Um, it just seems like I woke up and I'm right back where I started. But through the memories, Lisa and her family want to keep the Gentle Giants legacy alive with a foundation in his honor to help the Little League community he gave so much to. I would like it to be used for things like children. You know, maybe a child don't have the money to play if the umpires are needing something. As small as a clicker to keep up with, you know, the balls and the strikes. Something simple. And although Roger's name will head this effort, Lisa said it really represents so many more who fought this virus and gave so much just like her husband did. And I'm not just thinking about Roger, I'm thinking about everyone that has lost their life and everyone that has survived. And she doesn't want Roger's former colleagues to go unnoticed. I know what they do. I've seen it. Um, I, parents have seen it, you know. So that's my hope that people would get involved, get behind it, and we could really do something powerful with it. From the Armstrong family to Warner Robins American Little League, with love. The 25th of last year didn't end everything. You know, it, it's starting us on a different journey, you know, and that's where I feel like I'm at. Now, if you want to contribute to the Roger Armstrong Memorial Fund, you can donate directly to Warner Robins American Little League, or you can send a check or money order to Warner Robins American Little League, and we'll include their mailing address in this story on our website at 13 WMAZ.com. That's Lori? a great story, Marvin. So, so, such a powerful story and a wonderful wife. Now, save the date, Saturday, April 10th at 9 a.m. is opening day for Warner Robins Little League at Flint Fields. They plan to honor Roger Armstrong, an event open to the public.